What if your blood pressure started damaging your memory three days from now, before you even knew it was high? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're looking at how hypertension undercuts your brain's energy, structure, and long-term function, often years before symptoms get your attention. I'm Ethan Foster, and I guide these conversations so you can make informed choices grounded in research and practical steps. I'm Alara Skye. You're going to hear how common this is, how fast cellular injury can begin, what MRI studies reveal after years of elevated readings, and what you can do now to lower risk using monitoring, targeted diet changes, movement, and sleep. Nearly half of U.S. adults have hypertension, and most don't know it. When pressure stays elevated, oxygen and nutrients don't reach neural tissue efficiently. That sets the stage for stroke, heart attack, and early brain impairment that can show up as slower thinking and poorer memory well before a formal diagnosis. Researchers recently tracked what happens in the brain at the very start of hypertension, using an animal model to mimic adults who live with elevated blood pressure for years. They mapped gene activity across thousands of brain cells to see which ones falter first and how that leads to cognitive decline over time. Changes appeared within three days. Endothelial cells lining blood vessels showed accelerated aging and weaker energy metabolism. Interneurons, which help keep signaling in balance, adopted early patterns seen in Alzheimer's disease. Oligodendrocytes, the cells that make myelin insulation, began to struggle, which slows nerve communication and undermines cognitive performance. As endothelial cells became dysfunctional, the blood-brain barrier grew leaky. That allowed inflammatory molecules and oxidative byproducts to enter brain tissue. Immune cells then stayed activated, creating chronic inflammation that accelerates brain aging. By day 42, the model showed widespread neurovascular impairment and clear cognitive deficits. These fast cellular shifts translate into structural changes people can see on imaging after long-term high readings. MRI studies link hypertension with more white matter hyperintensities, more microbleeds, and smaller total brain and hippocampal volumes. A higher burden of these bright white matter spots is tied to slower processing, weaker executive function, and higher risk for stroke and dementia. Pressure patterns matter across the lifespan. Diastolic elevations in early and mid-adulthood are associated with more white matter injury and smaller brain volumes later. In older adults, very high systolic pressure tracks more closely with stroke risk and additional white matter damage. Readings above 140 systolic and 90 diastolic align with a higher burden of white matter injury. Dementia risk rises with midlife hypertension, and the effect accumulates. Older adults with high blood pressure show accelerated brain aging. Estimates suggest roughly 2.7 extra years of brain aging compared to peers with normal levels. That gap can be enough to push someone from mild changes into impairment. You won't always feel early damage. Subtle signs include more forgetfulness, difficulty multitasking, and a lower mood, especially if you already know your pressure runs high. Red flag symptoms, facial drooping, vision loss, severe headache or loss of coordination, require emergency care immediately. Treatment can reverse part of the injury if you intervene early. In the same research model, blocking angiotensin with losartan reversed damage. The focus here, however, is on natural strategies you can apply now. Regular monitoring, dietary changes that reduce linoleic acid intake, movement, and adequate sleep. Start with monitoring earlier than most people think. Don't wait until your 50s or 60s. Begin checking your blood pressure in your 30s and 40s so you can adjust course before structural brain changes accumulate. Routine measurements give you direct feedback on what helps and what doesn't. Fix your diet with precision. Excess linoleic acid hardens arteries and feeds metabolic dysfunction. Avoid products using soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, cottonseed, grapeseed, canola, rice bran, and peanut oils, whether in restaurant cooking, packaged snacks, or dressings. Replace them with grass-fed butter, ghee, beef tallow, and coconut oil. 
cut back nuts and seeds that push linoleic acid higher. Even macadamias and olive oil, though lower in linoleic acid, oxidize easily with heat and light due to high monounsaturated fats, which can impair cellular energy when consumed in an oxidized state. Target under 2 grams of linoleic acid per day from all sources, and source meat from grass-fed biodynamic producers to avoid hidden intake from grain-fed animals. Use tools that make tracking easier. The Mercola Health Coach app includes the Seed Oil Sleuth, which helps you calculate daily linoleic acid intake to a tenth of a gram. Pair that with regular blood pressure checks to see how your choices register on the cuff. Move your body most days. Regular physical activity improves vessel flexibility, lowers resting pressure, and supports brain volume. Even brisk walking on most days makes a measurable difference. If you're getting started, set a consistent walking schedule and build from there. Protect your sleep window. Sleep enables repair and regeneration, and shortchanging it raises blood pressure. Evidence shows sleep deprivation is acutely associated with pressure elevation. Commit to a regular schedule, limit late stimulants, and create a dark, cool room so you can get consistent, restorative rest. Alcohol reduction, weight loss programs, and regular monitoring also lower blood pressure. These changes protect neurovascular integrity, slow the accumulation of white matter damage, and help preserve processing speed and memory over time. Here's your challenge. Today, take three actions. Measure your blood pressure, remove every seed oil listed from your kitchen and shopping list, and schedule a 30-minute brisk walk. Over the next seven days, aim for under two grams of linoleic acid daily, track readings at the same times, and commit to a fixed sleep window. You're building a routine that protects your brain's energy and structure over the long term. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.